there's no spinoff on there right now. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. stuck. Mm -hmm. So now you can see it's creating a new thread pattern. Mm -hmm. So when it gets tight again, you just back it down. Mm -hmm. Spray a little bit more. Allow those pieces to pass through. And this is extensive damage. So you can see that the product is really doing the job it's supposed to do. I'm just going to spray a little bit more and let the product do the work. It's getting stuck right now. You back up for a second, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's get it out of there. Got to get past that one, that one spot. But you can see where we've already been through it's so much easier now. If you want some more, Brian. Go ahead. It is so hot right now, and this will totally displace that heat, but it has tremendous heat, and the product works off of heat and pressure. So it's just going to help the product work a little bit better. Don't go too far back. There you go. Just get past that one spot, and you're good to go. And all we're trying to illustrate is that it truly will rebuild threads on a molecular level to allow you to bypass and disassemble. And this whole time, this whole video probably can't be more than three, four minutes. Now, what's amazing is if you take this, you can't even touch it. You can't put your hand on it right now. If I had a temperature gauge, that's probably about 125 to 140. If you just come back down now, you'll see that there's not. it's so tight that it's keeping a reservoir of spinoff right up top. Now drop it back down and you'll see how the pass will be so much easier already.